Now the un unusual thing is that uh, this skull actually had part of the body attached to it as well. So usually what we find is that when we're digging these things out of the ground is that we'll find bits of the body and no head and very, very rarely we'll find just a head but unfortunately with no body attached. So the fact that this guy had both allows us to close that gap or they have this overlap between the body and the head that will unravel a lot of the species diversity. So how many species of these long-necked plesiosaurs were swimming around here in this outback ocean 100 million years ago.